Okay, so this video is going to take a look at the um, the the pre-verse bit after the whole band comes in and the end of the intro riff, and then it's also going to take a look at the um, actual verse riff itself and how the two bits differ between Angus and Malcolm. Okay, so we'll start off with Angus's part, which is a, a kind of a high part at the beginning. And um, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube where they're playing this on three strings, which is the open A, the D and the G. So like a mini power chord. But I like to add this note here, which is on the eighth fret of the B string, because I know this is a this chord shape here is one that ACDC use in other songs, say for instance in Rock and Roll Damnation. So it just seems to me, and also because obviously the high part in the song is a high part, so if you add that extra string, it's higher, it's more noticeable. And it just ties in with what I think I'm hearing on the record. So I would say that I think this is how they play it, but obviously a lot of people think it's just these kind of mini two string chords. I'm not a fan of the two string chord very much, so I don't tend to use them. But um, So the way the riff works is this, it goes. Last bit obviously is the same as the bit they play in the intro riff. Across two strings, third fret and fifth fret, third fret of the A string, fifth fret of the D string, down to the second fret of the A string, fifth fret of the B string, and then the chord, but then they do actually play a chord here rather than the intro where they play the single note. So um first finger on the seventh fret of the D string. Second finger on the eighth fret of the B string, and third finger on the ninth fret of the G string. So it's a three note chord with a. You've got your open A here, but I'm going to suggest that when you play it, you're probably just going to be playing these three because Malcolm's taking care of the lower kind of sound, and you want this to stand out. So you're playing those three notes and then you're taking them off and you're barring across the seventh fret of the um, D string, G string and B string and then you're putting them back on so on, off, on again off the beat like I said in the last video for the intro these are off the beat hits one, two that's on, off the beat, on the beat, off the beat. So the bulk of the riff is off the beat. Then you move down to the seventh fret of the um, of the G string, D string, and B string, and do the same kind of pattern, on, off, on. But this time you're taking off to the fifth fret. So you're barring on it with your first finger on the fifth fret of the D string, G string, and B string and then using whichever finger, pinky or third finger, to do the hammer, well, the, the, it's not really a hammer off put off, it's just hitting it, taking it off, and hitting it again. So the whole thing is... When you get back to this note here, there's definite vibrato, which is... Now... I'd probably use my pinky for this. And a lot of people, when they're starting out on the guitar, find the pinky hard to use. It's definitely their weakest finger. It's most people's weakest finger. But obviously, you want all your fingers available to you. I mean, you know, you want to be able to use all your fingers. And also, if you don't get into the habit of using your pinky, it's not going to be particularly... It's never going to get any better. When I'm playing these bar chords, you know, the, a bar chord that's based on an A, an A chord... <laughs> I always use my pinky. Just find it easier to do that. Hold it down. And you, my pink, pinky's got the flex to hold down these three. And kill that bottom string so that you, you can do a bar across. Well, that's really actually only one note because you're holding down here. You're holding down that note and then you're barring across with your pinky. So again, s seven on the D string. Nine on the G string, eight on the B string. And then I'm using my pinky for this, a bar on the seventh fret, G, B, sorry, D, G, B, down to fifth fret, D, G, B, back to the seventh fret. 
and then vibrato, which is just kind of moving your hand rapidly up and down. Now, I'm using my pinky, but I'm using all my fingers. And like string bends, I think the secret to this is where this part of your hand is, because that's the kind of lever. You apply pressure on the back of your hand to get the grip that you need to apply a good heavy vibrato. And you can definitely hear on the record, you can hear it ringing out. And then you hit the open A string, and then you come up to that those two note, that two note run, two string run that you play in the intro. But here you can get away with playing it as a chord, rather than just a single note. But that's an added note to that run, putting the open in before, the open A string. So, open, three, it twice. Now at the same time Malcolm is playing a pretty very a very similar riff, the same riff but lower down. But a much easier one to play because all you have to do is put your bar a finger across the and make a bar on the G string, D string, G string and B string. Take it off to play the open strings, three open strings, put it back on. Now when you hit the first chord I'd say you're hitting all the strings. The th Sorry, not, not the very the highest or the lowest string, but and when you play the next bit, you're focusing on these three strings because that's a kind of a mini G chord and you don't probably want that with your open A string ringing out like that. It would muddy it a bit. So I'd say you go and back on again. So on, off, on. Then slide up and play a D bar chord, which I'm going to use my pinky for, but you can use your third finger for. So you're playing the fifth fret of the A string and then you're barring across the D, B and G and B string with the same kind of pattern. On, off, on. So playing the three strings. Again, I would imagine when you take your finger off, you're going to be emphasizing the D, G and B. But when you play the actual bar chord, you'd hit the fifth fret of the um, A string to give you that D note. And then open A and the same riff. So that part's the same for both guitars. But there is a kind of a, um, a pause here that I'm not sure exactly how exactly how you explain you play. You go. You kind of running your pick across the strings but you've got you've got no pressure so they're dead it gives that kind of a the way you describe that sound as so I think when I play it, I hit that D chord again. Once before you go into the riff. So, ba da da, da da da. So, you'd have two, apply the pressure to hit the chord again. Open A. That was badly played. Open A. And then just the two, two strings the A and the D string with the third fret, fifth fret, second fret, fifth fret down to that. So we'll do that again. So you would. Hit the chord at the end of the sequence. Open A. And that riff. And then when you come into the verse itself with the singing, both guitars are playing that riff. So Angus comes down and copies that. Then before you get back into the chorus again, you have this bit where you're going... guitar goes down to, whereas I think the other one, Malcolm, stays up. But we'll, we'll break that down. So first of all, you're on the fifth fret, you're playing your D bar chord, I'm using my pinky, and you're starting with the fingers not on, so you're playing off, on, off, off, on, on, off, on, on, off, on. 
very common ACDC pattern. Three hits, three hits and two hits to make the eight bar. <laughs> I'd play an open A there, in between moving down to the third fret for the C. Now you can play that as the, your G, A, C, D, C, G, but it's easier to play I find as a bar chord, so you're going to go. It's just one hit of each, C, G, so D. And again, probably when you're off the, when you have your this fingers off, you're concentrating on the D, G, and B strings. But you know, in the heat of the moment, it doesn't really make a big difference. But I definitely think there's an open A there before you come to your C, G. You do that twice. And then you move that pattern up the seventh fret so you're now playing an E chord and again an open A there D D A now I think Malcolm I'm sure one of them stays up here and you're just playing an A chord on the sorry an E chord a bar chord on the seventh fret And the open A C D C G right at the end. So you, the first sequence is the same as the D sequence with the on, off, on, on, off, on, on, off, on. Two hits, open, and then a D chord on the fifth fret of the A string, and then A chord as a bar chord on the fifth fret of the bottom string, the E string. And then I think one of them's going. So ba 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 ba. Two hits on the G and then into there. I think the second guitar goes down to the to the bottom to the East open E chord here. So you're gonna go. chord which I tend to play my finger off because it gives you that finger you're then able to do other stuff with that finger and also because you just play the bar chord there easy just to slide take your finger off and slide down here bells bells and then back into the riff like that now, the only thing I think I'd, uh, for this video I would share is that at the end, after the guitar solo, in the last set of choruses where you're playing the riff, the first time they play, I think three times in the final chorus they play that after for the choruses after the um, the solo, but then they start playing. Third fret bar chord, hit twice, and then a fifth fret bar chord, hit once, and then so that slightly changes, not playing, so not going. But when they would be playing that, they're actually just playing a C to D, so it's basically the same pattern, it's just playing a full chord. Now there is a different chord sequence, there's a slight change at the beginning of the solo, where they hold an A for the beginning of the solo, and there is a um, solo guitar pattern that Malcolm plays. go back over that when we actually have a look at the solo part of it and that part is also repeated towards the end in the final solo after the last choruses but that's the bulk of the song as it is. Mm -hmm.